this year for Kids Day, which is uh, May 25th, 2016, we have an artist that's coming in and he's gonna build a huge sculpture out of recycled bottles. So we kind of put our heads together along with Sandy Huber, who's the executive director of Clean Communities. How could we get the bottles that are needed for this project? So we figured uh, we needed about 5,000 bottles. So we decided to do a contest with all the schools in Lang City. We had a nice team, all, all the ladies behind us. Um, we have a school-wide program. Our principal and vice principal were so supportive also. So it was really, it was really great. The whole school was definitely involved. We collected uh, 8,500 and some bottles. It was awesome. There's an old saying that if you know better, you'll do better. So just by uh, the training and, and allowing people to know that this helps us to keep, you know, uh, the, the streets and the city streets clean. This helps us to prevent from uh, uh, having our drainage system all clogged up. Sandy found this uh, artist and his name is Willie Cole. And he does all kinds of projects with recycled materials. He's uh, bottles and he's even done shoes and different things. So she saw him, she said this will be really great for our kids to be involved in this. And he's gonna make a huge bird. Originally they asked me to make a fish. And I caught the train down to Atlantic City. I got off the train and I'm in this, the new convention center and I see fish everywhere. So I said, I don't wanna make a fish, there are really too many fish down here. What else is very present on the Jersey Shore beaches in the summertime? and it was the birds. Yeah, I mean, it, it could have been a crab <laughs> or just a shell. I realize that the birds are an endangered species, but I also realize that our environment is endangered through excessive waste and litter. So I decided to use a bird as a symbol and having the bird being made from bottles just made it all that much clearer. But I have a belief that everything is the same thing, that everything is made from one thing. That one thing may look different in a certain form, but if you break that one thing that looks different down, it turns into the same thing that everything else is made of. And that's why I make things out of one thing. So I would love to have them walk away with that idea that everything is anything and anything is everything. How can we make it fun? How can we get the students involved? And this is how we, we did our little contest and this is what they brought us here. Now I'm sure that uh, Clean Communities wants to walk away with a recycling message. But I think that'll come naturally just based, based on the fact that they collected the bottles. They won't see the bottles as waste anymore. They'll begin to see them as, as uh, art material, as building blocks. Yes, and it was really neat. We're excited to see what's going to happen with this. It's just kind of uh, a riff on nature. So the concept is nature, but the interpretation is mine. I, I think they're going to be flabbergasted. I, I think they're going to, they're just going to be amazed, you know, of what can be done by the very thing that you toss out in the trash or into hopefully the recycling bin. I think this is just going to be an awesome uh, situation, an awesome event. I think the kids are going to love it. I think the public are going to, they're going to love it. And I think this is something that they're going to be talking about uh, for years to come. We were very excited when we partnered with Coca-Cola. Um, and we were able to hire a sculptor, Willie Cole, to uh, create a, an enormous museum quality beach bird out of plastic bottles. The first project came as a result of me drinking a bottle of water and noticing that the bottle was made to collapse and that all the little cracks and ribs in it allowed me to shape it into a fish. We began the project, oh, a year ago, speaking with Willie Cole about how to what he would do, what, what kind of object he would do, where we would put it, how we would place it. And we conceptualized and we dreamed and we, we came up, we had ideas. And I've made a 20-foot tornado made out of water bottles. Those bottles were collected by the children of Summit, New Jersey. Uh, this project, of course, these bottles are collected by the Atlantic City Schoolers. Atlantic City Schools collected over 20,000 bottles. That's a lot of waste. But what's wonderful about that is we found a really innovative, exciting way to, to reuse those bottles. We do have one big backbone to help us develop the diameter of the body. But all these will be attached to the uh, frontal part of the spine where the head will go. And they will open up and fan out across that backbone. Basically we're making like almost a bag out of these strands of bottles. And once that bag is full in size, we'll fill it with loose bottles. Uh, the beak will serve as a third leg to keep it balanced. 
and it speaks to um, reuse, recycling, um, it, it, taking care of the environment, um, handling waste. It also calls attention to the enormous amount of waste that is out there that needs to be managed. And this project is sponsored by Coca-Cola. This is a Dasani water bottle here. This is call to action for everyone. I think people should begin to think about materials, found objects, materials, things that can be reused in different ways. We have a, a lovely illustration of the beach bird, which um, I think will carry the project on into the future, as the beach bird is a reminder to everyone to embrace and take care of the environment. I was here today because I heard of um, Mr. Willie really Cole that he was making a sculpture and it was a poster on one of the walls at Stockton. So I contacted my preceptor and she said that you can do some volunteer work with him and help him create this sculpture. So I thought it would be a cool opportunity. The fact that the armature is welded steel and all the holes were pre-drilled and it was assembled in the shop and disassembled and brought here, reassembling it was kind of challenging. Today we assembled all of the pieces together. There was like five main pieces and we assembled them all together, which is a lot of heavy lifting, but we got it. I'm figuring out the whole proportions based on the head, so I began to structure the head. Wings and the rest, you know, it's just like a big teardrop with a bubble on the end, so the rest should be easy. Most of our sheets are 12 feet long, and this is 15 feet long, so it should be a perfect fit. That high point there is like the backbone because after the neck, the body does get wider. And now it's pretty much about almost like making a drawing, making sure that the lines of the bottles uh, enhance the movement of the whole thing. So because it's facing this way and his body is this kind of line, I want to make most of the lines of the bottles go in that direction. And it gets wider after the head, so I'm cutting the head off at the neck because we're going to now build around that with a the, with the circle that goes all the way back. Making something that you can enjoy instead of having to see it on your ground and the place you go to all the time. And we'll add the wings on separately on the outside. Even though they won't be, you know, flapping or spread out, they should still be separate in the overall shape. I thought it was really cool. I enjoyed doing this because I know it's for the cleanup and since we live near the beach, might as well clean our land that we always go to and not have all these water bottles all over it. I want to fill it with bottles, so this is just the skin on the skeleton. So I have to leave an opening in the top, so then I can just get bottles and dump them inside. And then it becomes like a, more like a stuffed animal. I think seeing it come to this huge structure, because I didn't know what it was going to look like in the beginning, so seeing it as it is now just made it like click in my head that what it's going to become is going to be a great piece. It's the Make It Green Club. We are in charge of setting up some activities and stuff for the event happening on May 25th at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. And we're just doing different things like finding entertainment, doing fun and games, sending out promotions. And there's going to be like a bunch of schools from around the county and other counties in New Jersey as well. And it's going to be pretty cool. Well, my involvement with this committee um, is honestly like um, hitting up other schools, seeing if they want to come and participate in the program, and of course the entertainment. I basically do a little bit of everything to help out the team, because there's no I in teams. I like to volunteer a lot, and um, I always want to make the world better, and I like how this um, event that we're planning helps kids to know what's going on in the world. You know, I've been working a lot with the environment and uh, all that kind of stuff since like middle school, so coming up to this, I knew that this was something that like I had to do and it's something that interests me. And another couple people will be working on like public relations, such as me, like um, we talk to other, to the schools that we hope to get involved into this and uh, we send out letters and, you know, make calls to make sure that, you know, everything's working out properly. It's work, but it's fun work, and it's work that I enjoy doing, and work that other kids would enjoy doing, so it's not, it doesn't seem like it's a lot. Well, one thing is learning how to set up an event as a hospitality student myself, and it's a lot of fun, and also to maybe meet new people there or get maybe a bit more experience in life.
by now we're gonna have like turkey sandwiches, ham sandwiches, you know, the works. <laughs> so I'm excited for that too. Cause our ICT program, like our culinary program, that's really like, you know, they're really good at what they do. And you know, they really like, when they get into something, they're like, you know, excel at it. So I'm really excited to see what they're gonna pull off. My group, the fun and games group, we're coming up with different activities to do at the event. And it kind of like uh, promotes our creativity with it. So we think of like uh, ways to incorporate uh, uh, being eco-friendly and having fun at the same time. We hope to have plastic bottle bowling there. So, you know, like all the recyclables that we get from students here, we're going to set up a little bowling alley and then we'll have a little fun with that. I would like to become an environmental engineer um, and pursue that further in college and uh, maybe get master's degrees in that and then go out into the field and work on finding solutions to our environmental problems in the world. I was involved in uh, the New York Avenue Slam Dunk the Junk program that they uh, had and we did, we picked up trash and they had a big like uh, lunch thing and it was really nice to see a lot of people involved in something good. I wish we did this when I was in middle school. I wish we like were more green of like, you know, and aware of like our environment and like, you know, we it's not like boring lecture about like, you know, the world. It's more like playing games and learning about like new things that you never like thought about. I've worked with students before on environmental projects and it never has it been this big, so it'll be some, something new. After a while, you start seeing like how people have that passion for it and it just starts rubbing off on you and that's I think that's what happened with me. I think they're going to think that we're trying to at least correct what we did and like give back to like make their environment better. We have a responsibility as a community to um, maintain such the environment as it is and so we can all, you know, interact properly and keep the species going. I think people's going to take away from this event that um, starting with one person can make a difference, but with more than one person you can, you can actually make a change. And that's the most important thing, that you want to make a difference and make a change for the environment, not just for the environment, but for the people as well, so they can see there's more to just than littering and stuff like that. You can actually help and stop pollutions and stuff like that as well. I've never seen a project that's been so encompassing uh, from, uh, from the schools, the children, the teachers, the, the principals, to a city and its, its public works department uh, and administration who, who got behind the whole project and, and helped actually with the collection. And then a professional artist to come in with a concept and a, a plan and an execution for it. You know, it's, it's been wonderful. And of course, Sandy at uh, Clean Communities has been uh, wonderful in, in spreading the word of, of all this work and getting people to, uh, you know, get involved. You know, that's what it's all about, getting involved.
Hi there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Pasquela, the official New Jersey beach bird of the New Jersey Clean Communities Council. An artist named Willie Cole created me from hundreds of recycled plastic bottles. I was unveiled during the annual New Jersey Clean Communities Council conference in front of the mayor of Atlantic City and more than 3,500 kids from across New Jersey. I'm here today to tell you that New Jersey is a better place for everyone, human or not, when we work together to keep it clean. Come visit me at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City and learn more about what it's going to take to keep New Jersey litter free. Or come visit my website to ask me questions and to find my collection of fun beach games and photos with friends. Keep me on your mind, and I'll keep an eye out for you and what you're doing in your town to keep your community and your state litter-free. I have made a lot of geometric shapes before, so the bird is like the first real world thing that I attempted to make. Being an artist in a lot of ways is about standing out. You know, you make things to be seen, to create experience for other people. If I didn't make art, I'd be making music. If I didn't make music, I'd be writing stories. If I wasn't writing stories, I'd be acting in stories. It's all the same thing, it's all the same energy, and it's not made to be contained. You know, it's like a fire cannot stay in a little wooden box. It's going to burn through that box and it's going to grow. So creativity is the same way. And I really think that bottles can eventually save the world. You can make anything out of a water bottle. I mean, they're insulators, they're containers, they hold light, they hold liquid, they're indestructible. You know, Sandy is blessed with mental creativity and she wants to see it you know, like on tour. She wants to see it go to recycling centers and to schools and all that kind of thing. She thinks she'll end up eventually in a museum somewhere.